Hello friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this chain flyer in Photoshop or with Photoshop. Don't forget to start if you've not subscribed to my channel, can you hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you miss any videos I will be dropping anytime. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is click on file and click on new and I'm just going to set my document like this. Okay. Of course, here is where I would impute the name. So I'm just going to give it Jim Flyer 5x5 five five inches, please, not pixels. 300 and all these settings remains like this. So copy my settings and when you're done, just click on create. Right. Okay. So this brings us into the world of Photoshop. You can see how my tabs are arranged. So you can do that with yours too. I choose to do mine like this. So click on solid color. And um, this is the color code we're going to be working with. So I'm just going to copy that. And... Um, paste it here like this and click OK right great so let's move on so the next thing you want to do is or I would like us to do is um, go over to the text tool and I'm just going to type a couple of things and this is the font I'm using so please you can get that um, from uh, the website I'll be putting in the description of this video so I'm just going to type this Ctrl J to duplicate this and um, let me zoom closer so we see things well so this is supposed to be perfect shape so this is shape again um, the resources that I use in this video is in the description of the video so please do well to check the description of this video to get all the resources you need to design this flyer also so I'm just going to make it um, the same um, um, size like i have for the perfect so both of them are in line select the two of them by holding down control control t to bring out the transform and um, i'm just going to transform it make it bigger like this and um, click enter so next thing i'm going to do is with the two of them selected i'm going to go over and select convert to shape first see selected i'm going to go over to med shapes right so this is what i have one shape just one shape so it's, n it's not it's not a text and neither is it a smart object but it's shape right so i'm um, ctrl t and i'm just going to continue with the flip i started with or the rotate as the case may be like you know it as and i'm just going to adjust it till i find the perfect spot where i want it to be then i would click enter okay i think i like it the way it is at this point this is the safe spot i want it to be so um now let's move on the next thing i want to do is i'll go over to my source file and i'm going to bring in the next candidate or the next element as the case may be which is a picture of this nice looking gym and um, its equipment right so um click enter to place it inside don't always forget to do that I see you just forgot to do that now um, click on mask right and what you want to do is get rid of those hard edges so how do you do that um, select the brush most times sometimes not most times I like using this but most times I like you increasing the size of my brush with my bracket keys it makes life easy for me so okay I didn't flip this make sure you're working on a black mask when it's on white so I'm just going to conceal this part like this just a little bit we're not doing too much and um, select it and what you want to do is go to opacity to opacity or opacity right reduce it like this and um, when you have this click on fill also and reduce the fill too just this way um, I think 41 is a sweet spot great I think this works for me then okay so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to my resource files and i'm going to bring this inside um, so this is just going to um spice up this design a little bit and um, give it that i don't know that gradient touch right so um of course um, create a mask and um, go over to your brush 
and clean off these edges like this and um, still selected now most mistakes that people actually make is if i zoom close now this add edges if you put a text on it it will distract your um your audience attention from the flyer itself so what do we do go over to gaussian blur and um just blur the shape itself just like this so whatever thing you want to put on top of it even if of course i would have to reduce the opacity like this make sure it's not sharp so these are little, little things that um differentiates uh, a beginner from a professional or an intermediate so it's one thing to actually keep in mind so i'm just going to conceal this part also like this and um there you go looking great with this first um, few steps that we've come up with okay so next thing i'm going to bring in of course is the image of the gym models themselves so what i want to do with this is i'm going to make this bigger like this and um still make it bigger a little bit and position it where i want it to be so i can also drag around to position it but of course i'll apply marks to it select the brush and get rid of the areas i don't want inside of this particular flyer areas like this reduce the size of the brush and um, so that you can go down to intric um, intricate details right so select this one and what you want to do is ctrl t still make it bigger while you pull this down like this of course this image is looking blunt it's not sharp and like the way we used to do in our previous video so let's go and uh, add some extra spice to the images so the first thing to start with here is you're going to start with your contrast bump it up use my settings please highlights i'm not going to kill it entirely because i need some light reflection shadows use my settings textures i'm going to add a little bit of clarity and um for details i'm just going to sharpen this this way and uh, reduce some noise and when i'm done i'm just going to click okay before and after see so you can go on and uh, make some adjustment if you think yours is not sharper you need it to be very very sharp i wonder what you use those, those sharpness for right make it look real that's the essence so i'm just going to leave this like this and um, i'm going to create a hue and saturation because i want to get rid of this green i am seeing on the body of this model so great clipping mask so what i want to do instead of going to colorize and everything this is the easy arc so click on this click on this slider here and with the eyedropper to selected click on the green color so what you want to do now is there is this part you can see if i turn this up all up it's giving me the yellow color but then come down here and move this slider all the way to the green region make sure you don't have can you see what happened now so if you move this to the green you are telling um photoshop that okay well, yes i want you to get rid of the greens then just play with the hues and everything and you have your nice looking effect right so um let me show you um what we've done so this is before and this is after right it only affected what she was wearing easy peasy so the next thing i want to do is click on vibrant i'm going to clip it to this same and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bump up the saturation that's all like this and um there you go nice and easy right okay so um the next thing i want to do is going over to resource file i'm going to bring this um call it dumbbell i'm going to bring this inside like this and um i'll put it here well i bring it down like this make it slightly bigger i think i'll still take it down a little bit and put this here rotate it like this and um yes i'm gonna place it there go to blow gaussian blow and um copy my settings for the radius 
click OK like this. Go to filter also, and um, I'm just going to bump up the sharpening like this under basics. I'm going to bump up the texture 100 percent then i'm going to drop the blacks like this and click ok there you go okay so i'm going to make a duplicate copy of this but before i do that i'm going to select this and um, hold down control select the three of them basically and press ctrl g and i'm just going to name this it's good you keep your layers clean and um, so you don't you don't have 1001 layers everywhere scattered and it's just easy for you to navigate through and you know where to go to when you're looking for something you're looking for so make a duplicate copy of this and with this one i'm just going to bring it here first while i rotate it like this angle that's 43 um for 3.70 yeah that's the angle so um rotate it 41 I think I'm okay with the way it is here. Um, I'll slightly make this one bigger while I push it back inside like this. Select this one, just click on the Gaussian blow and um, increase the blow and um, click OK. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to select two of them and uh, control G. Of course, I'm just going to name this one. I'm just going to give it bells. So you have the models and then you have the bells. Okay, right about now, let's go over to the text tool and um, let's um, throw in some text. So I'm just going to type. Change the color. White all the way. Of course, uh, I'm going to flip this or rotate it as the case may be. So Ctrl T and um, rotate it. Now my angle of rotation is around this so you can copy it and use it for yours too and um, click enter when you're done so ctrl T I'm gonna do it again and change the angle of rotation click enter when you're done great so I can choose to make this bigger ctrl T and um, increase the size like this make a duplicate copy of it and of course you're going to bring this one down here like this let me zoom out so you see what we're doing well so get that perfect shape that's the whole text that's the full text so uh, what I want to do is perfect shape is a little bit too big too bulky so make it smaller why you um, make the space in between them obvious by pulling it down select the two of them make it smaller not so big okay so uh, make a big copy of um, the perspective shape bring this down and I'm just going to use it to write something else
okay so the text is turn fat into feet so i have to give that a yellow color so it's quite different from the base text itself that's the first text itself so select the three of them and group them of course i'm just going to give this the name yes you guessed right text okay so when you do this the next thing you want to do is um go over to your pen tool click on this field click on this and what you want to do is select a color from here you can just go ahead and use this red i'm using and um create a new layer turn off your cap locks so you have your pen like this so what you want to do now is start tracing around this get perfect into fat so i'm just going to speed this up no there's a step i want you to follow here so let's do this together so i'm just going to click here like this click here like this of course when it gets to this point you can no longer see it again so go up here and reduce the opacity so you can see what you're doing and um click here good and um click here and finish it up here of course this shape has become imperfect because of our carelessness let me say my carelessness so to fix this and um, go over to this tool here old and select direct selection tool so with that you can click on any node and um, adjust well so i'm just going to make the adjustment like this okay so um there you have it close to a perfect shape so i'm just going to balance it up by using um by adding this to it and um you could make it perfect even more than mine and um the next thing i'm going to do is i think this is better this way select the two of them and um, just make it smaller so it's not too big right So I'm, I'm going to drop down the bells you can see how easy for, for me it's it's quite easy for me to move things around because I have them grouped and everything so what you want to do is change the color of that shape we created area on you can see I can easily navigate and select the color I want to change it with so arranging your layers well it would do you a whole lot good especially if you are if you want to venture into compositioning right where you have like 60 layers 70 layers this is just the perfect way to work inside of photoshop so i'll just drag in bring in my details is it details are taking out time of course to type it so i would not spend too much time on this video right so with this one now what i want to do is um Go to filter add some blur to it because it feels too sharp and it's taking the attention away from the whole design itself so i'm just going to blow it so it's not too sharp right so um reduce the feel also let's have it like this okay so um having done that the next thing we want to do is let me see okay so on the bells um i like to add some light effects so how do i do that very simple go over to adjustment layer and what you're going to do is select hue and saturation our very own hue and saturation
click on it and um, this is what you're going to have so right click and select create clipping mask to mask it on top of the bells so what you want to do now is click on colorize and um, copy my settings for this good i think i'm okay with the position it is here but some persons would i uh, would want to um add some extra spice to it what i mean by add some extra spice to it like it is like this you can go ahead and change the blend mode to linear dodge and create something different out of this but that is not what we are going to do today that's not what we're after today that's um a tutorial for another day that's why you don't have to miss my videos because there's always something to learn every day so um watch make sure you're selecting this brush here this one the soft round pressure opacity and flow very important so um gradually rub it on the edges like this and um there you go um you can choose to reduce the opacity if it's too much but for me i think mine is good at 100 we are good to go so i'm going to the topmost layer create another layer i'm going to double click here and i'm going to give it a name so name of this layer is glow i might change this from glow but let's see what happens so i'm going to select this yellow this is the code click ok and um, what i'm going to do is go to brush turn off cap locks to get rid of that what you want to do is apply here change the blend mode to linear dodge add apply some more here apply on top here like this and yeah those three points i'm going to change the name i always knew i was going to change this so yellow glow like this create another new layer this is why i had to change this so this one would be red glow right so um what you want to do is go over to brush select this red that's the color code and um, go to your brush and apply it here change the blend mode to screen just like this um this doesn't look it's not giving me what i want so i'm going to do that again change it to screen here go to brush and boom apply it here okay i think i'll let this slide this is going to go through nah it's not this small it's not this small okay increase it and have it there like this and also come here and put this here like this right Okay, so just only those two points. I'm not adding to any other points again. So what I want to do is select this color and uh, throw in some more lights. Like I could have some extra lights here and also have some extra lights here. I'm working on the yellow glow because I'm using yellow, right? Um, okay, so I think that's good enough. Red glow and yellow glow. So you can choose to reduce it, especially the yellows. And um, I think I like the reds the way they are. I like that energy feel it adds to the design. So I think that's good enough. okay so the next thing you want to do is make a snapshot how did i do this hold down ctrl shift alt e to make a snapshot All right so what you want to do is the snapshot on top of the snapshot create color balance adjustment layer and just copy my settings for this 
and um, shift towards the yellow like this and the highlights I'm going to go towards the yellow like this and um, for the shadows I'm just going to go through at this point like this You can see how much difference this has made to the entire design itself right great so um, select this select this and convert to smart object right make a duplicate copy of it what you want to do with this one on top ctrl T and uh, reduce it like this click enter on this one, Ctrl T, increase this one, right? So what you want to do is go to filter, Gaussian blur, add some blur to it, just like this. Copy my settings. You don't want it too much. It's okay like this. Still selected. Go to not camera roll. Sorry. Um, cancel go to filter but this time filter gallery and um, inside of this planet here go to texture go to texturizer and um, put it to brick reduce the relief type one here and you can increase the scaling up and click OK okay so um, an extra what you want to do again is on the one behind control click control M and what you want to do is reduce this bring it down to add some contrast to it and um, click OK and there you go this is just something stylish you can add to your design and all of that it's just a bonus alright guys this is how I created this flyer inside of Photoshop if you like my video please don't forget to share like and um, subscribe sharing is fun share my videos and if you have not subscribed at this point, please kindly hit the subscribe button, right? So you miss any of the videos that I'll be dropping anytime from now. To my existing subscribers, I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.